Nigeria, this is not the only time that you need your own Nigerians to stand by you. These are the times that you will realize that Africa stands by you. We are part of you and you are part of us. You just don't have yourself as a country, but you have nations behind you as a continent. We cannot turn around and kill ourselves. We cannot have a reason why there should be some squad that have to kill or have the right to take a human's life. Our leaders should not even sit there an hour, not even a day, to tolerate such a national uh, brutalization and accept it amongst us as we're living. This is the time that we have to show the world that we are the most powerful people on this prominent planet. Africa stands for surviving, not for dying, because many have been killed. Many have been sold, many have been broken, but Africa still stands and we are alive. We have fed the world over 400 years with our minerals, our resources, our commodities, our human capitalization. We haven't developed our continent yet, but I believe it's time. And I see a powerful moment of this youth and this generation that, that needs to be empowered, that will stand for their right, that will make sure that they erase the memories of brutalities, of killing and enslavement, of poverty, of sickness. We need to put a stop to this. It's about time that we show the world that we are also respected society. The force behind us is stronger than your democratic laws that you have set, which doesn't work very well sometimes with us. The black man's biggest tragedy is becoming the black man, and we should turn it around and make it the black man's biggest opportunity is the black man. Thank you, Africa. Wake up. Thank you. Freedom Jacob Caesar.